and then I don't use uh, my live well, so this is actually my live well. I got it disconnected. I use it for my tackle box on my boat. Here's my uh, box with all my terminal tackle in it, my catfish hooks. I like circle hooks, team catfish circle hooks. I don't have any idea what size is what. I just have to look at the hook and pick it out at the bait store. I don't fish enough for catfish to know. And I have all my three ways, my swivels, split shots, smaller, smaller sinklers in this box, and then slip bobbers. A lot of times I'll use a slip bobber and a worm uh, for walleye. This this box I keep my um, spinner baits, which I don't use I don't use that much. Umbrella rigs, which I I really don't use much. Hope to someday. And then my bottom bouncer crawler harness leaders. Um, and I'll, I'll, I I I keep the hooks in the leader. I don't buy the pre-made crawler harnesses because every they get all tangled up when I get them out of the package. So I actually tie my own and just pull it out with the two hooks and then I'll beat it up and put a spinner on it right on my boat and I can do that in about the same amount of time that I can get a pre-made harness out of the package and then I, I fish when I'm pulling a crawler harness it's in the state and lakes around here for trophy class walleye and I'll actually use 17 pound mono on my leader for the size of fish that I'm going for and you can't buy any uh, crawler harnesses that I'm aware of that are in 17 pound mono so that's another reason why I make them myself. But anyway, I cram all that stuff in here. I really haven't fished them much in a few years, so I don't have it all organized and pretty. And then as far as uh, my lines, line goes, as far as casting, I really like the Berkeley Nano Fill. I like the bright yellow. Um, for my hybrid striped bass pole, my really big jig pole that I use like half ounce and greater on, I use 14 pound. For my crankbaits and my smaller jig and poles, I'll use 8 pound nano fill. I like it the best. Catfish, on my leaders on catfish, I'll use 40 pound trilene big cat. For braid, I like, I like Power Pro braid. For my trolling poles, I have 20 pound, 30 pound. And then my catfish pole, I have 50 pound. Um, I like the yellow the best. Seems like I still have a bunch of green, but anyway, it lasts forever. Um, as far as my, when I use a mono leader, I like Strin the best. If I'm pulling a leader behind a dipsy diver, I want the most stretch I can because I'll have braid going to the dipsy diver, and then I want some stretch. Strin seems to have the greatest, I, I lose the least amount of fish when I use Strin mono leader behind a dipsy diver. And then, Here's some Berkley XD 17 pound I'll tie my uh, crawler harnesses with for fishing the stained lakes. And then if I'm going to use a crawler harness like a Bull Shoals or Clear Lake, I'll use fluorocarbon line, of course. Fluorocarbon leaders I will use when I'm using a spoon because it's real stiff and that way you use your spoon and the spoon doesn't flip back up and hook the line. And I'll usually take the swivel off and tie it up a couple feet to a foot above the, the spoon and use my leader. Fluorocarbon seems to be the stiffest. And then also it's the best in clear water when you're trolling a crawler harness and spinner. You'll lose a little bit more fish than you will with a mono, but they say that the fish can't see it. And I use 15 pound and 20 pound on the fluorocarbon. On the fluorocarbon, I really like the High Seas brand. 